Thank you for being with us. Today's interview is about virtual sales in a B2B environment. And I'd like to welcome Martin Kunz, a global business leader with over 20 years of experience in B2B companies. Until most recently, Martin's been leading the European sales force of a global manufacturer of engineered products with hundreds of salespeople reporting to him. In this position, he's obviously been directly confronted with the challenges presented by virtual selling. Thanks, Credoir, for the welcome and for the opportunity to talk about this exciting topic, which is uh, clearly a favorite topic of mine. Thank you. Please share with us how you see the development and status of virtual selling. Virtual selling, the way of selling to customers without being physically present, isn't new. It has been there for years, but its utilization has dramatically accelerated through the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Many B2B businesses had to significantly reduce the number of in-person meetings and experience the steep virtual selling learning curve to remain in touch with their customers. As we see most recently, further waves of COVID-19 are clearly sustaining this trend. Thanks, Martin. Uh, please, can you describe some of the differences as you see them between virtual and in-person selling? There are many differences between what we call the traditional way of selling and, and virtual selling. So I will highlight a few examples, but this will not be a comprehensive list. Let's start with how to read nonverbal communication, such as body language in meeting interaction, or the informal chats that we used to have before and after meetings over a cup of coffee with individual participants of the meeting to get pieces of information, for example, that were not shared in the meeting. But it's also about leading a meeting and how to conduct a discussion. And last but not least, I would also like to highlight that there is a stronger focus on how to get the value proposition to the customer. This sounds like a huge change as compared to the traditional sales process. Um, how do you think a salesperson can be successful in this new environment? It is indeed a big change. The answer to it is not simple. There isn't a silver bullet that guarantees future success. There are some basics, such as the physical appearance on video, internet speed or the absence of distracting noises in the work environment. The, the biggest challenge is, uh, without any doubt, how do you keep the meeting participants engaged and how do you build relations virtually with people that you probably have never met before in person. Effective visual and dynamic presentations, like in the traditional environment, remain important, but reliance upon presentation on the screen should really be limited so that the presenter can spend a maximum of time having eye contact with the participants of the meeting. Salespeople might see virtual selling as a threat to their jobs. How can these fears be overcome? I mean, this is a natural reaction of human beings to change. However, I think that there are plenty of opportunities for salespeople to use the productivity gains from virtual selling to their advantage. There is extra time available because there will be less travel, there is less travel, um, and this time can be used to better understand the needs of the customer through more and better upfront research. Additionally, also meeting agendas and presentations can be customized to the exact needs of the customer. And we shouldn't forget that sooner or later, the competition will also be improving its virtual selling skills. Martin, please tell us about your practical experience as a commercial leader implementing virtual sales in your own organization. Virtual selling is an important and complex change in the selling process for any B2B business. The implementation of such a program should be done by specialized professionals. And this might range from individual experts to really large consultancies. I think there is a fundamental role that senior leadership plays in the implementation. So senior leaders need to clearly communicate that virtual selling is a part of the new normal, and they need to support the salespeople in embracing virtual selling as an opportunity to, to improve their skills and also be more successful in the future. The 2020 reality also has shown that, that early adopters of virtual selling have created a competitive advantage in their respective markets. What is your view on how virtual selling will impact the recruitment of sales leaders and, and other leaders? That's a great question, and it gets us straight into the impact of virtual selling on talent development and talent management. 
Recruiters, as with all B2B organizations, will require to be proficient in virtual selling, and their teams will need to identify candidates with these skills as well to get the best selection for your client. This will become an imperative in the market. Recruiters will need to be able to assess virtual skills, and of course, this will begin already with the process itself, which will most certainly be virtual. In many ways, virtual selling is a logical extension of how we have been using technology. My experience from early days of e-commerce through to increasing online capability, use of data, digitalization, etc. It has been evident at each stage that technology-driven progress enables efficiency and in the end improves the customer experience. What are your conclusions about virtual selling for the future? What's next? I think it's evident that virtual selling will not go away once the COVID-19 pandemic is behind us. Organizations have clearly seen the benefits of it and many activities considered previously as only doable in-person or face-to-face -face meetings are now conducted virtually. I can only recommend B2B companies, recruiters, and their respective senior leaders to embrace virtual selling as an integrated part of a toolkit for future success. Martin, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us about this exciting topic. Thanks, Gregoire, for the invitation. It has been a pleasure, and I wish Ames International and all your customers a successful virtual selling journey. Thank you. Thank you.